a really nice start to the weekend with a good mixture of both sun and clouds and those high temperatures again middle to upper 50s. Some spots of western Kentucky actually hit the 60 degree mark for the high temperature today. We do have a return to below normal temperatures beginning with tomorrow. That's going to continue into the beginning of the week before another warm up is in store later next week. But first, let's take a live look outside from our tower camera looking towards the Blue Bridge. Those lights dancing on the bridge on the Owensboro Riverfront. That's our roofclaim.com tower camera with temperatures again slowly falling through the 40s. After a pretty steady fall, they've been pretty steady and stable over the last couple of hours. This is our Superior Ag Tower camera from downtown Evansville, where we actually saw a very beautiful scene with our uh, sunset, with very nice sunset and some post-glow colors as well. Here's the time lapse from our downtown sky cam showing, again, a good mixture of sun and clouds today with mostly clear conditions this afternoon. And there's that beautiful sunset here this evening all across the tri-state as well. Temperatures, again, will be slowly falling through the low 40s and eventually down into the middle 30s for those overnight low temperatures tonight. Right now, we are still steady at 45 degrees at the Evansville Regional Airport with those winds from the west-southwest at about 8 miles per hour. We will see those begin to shift to the northwest as cooler temperatures start to work their way in overnight tonight, setting up that below average trend for tomorrow and into the beginning of the week. Outside right now, temperatures ranging from the low to mid 40s to even still some 30s now showing up out towards the west on our fringe counties, Fairfield, Illinois, already down to 37 degrees. It's 43 in Princeton, 45 Jasper, 46 Santa Claus down in western Kentucky, 40 degrees already down in Owensboro, 42 in Calhoun, Madisonville currently 46 degrees. That was our warm spot today. Madisonville, you hit a high of 60 degrees earlier this afternoon. Our storm tracker showing a few of those high thin clouds pushing off to the east. Well down to the south is the closest area of cloud cover right now. We should stay mostly clear tonight as we're pretty far removed from any uh, area of precipitation or additional cloud cover. In fact, the closest area of precipitation and uh, what a day it was across most of the Great Lakes. A lot of snow cover now across parts of Michigan into northern Ohio and now pushing into Pennsylvania as well. And those are the areas, as you would expect with snow in the area today, where we see some of those travel issues for the post-Thanksgiving travel plans. Again, across most of the country and here in the immediate area, all is good through tonight and through tomorrow as well. But it's those impact areas across the Great Lakes that you may run into some issues. If you have family here in the area going back or if you know of anyone coming back to the Tri-State, could run into some issues overnight tonight and tomorrow. But again, all across the region, we are quiet. And really, we're going to stay quiet and dry through the majority of the next couple of days, but really most of next week as well. In fact, our next chance of rain doesn't come into the picture until about this time next week. Future, future Tracker is just going to show some off and on cloud cover through tonight and tomorrow. Pretty much the theme of the forecast is the next couple of days. A mix of sun and clouds, quiet and calm conditions. Maybe a little bit on the breezy side for tomorrow and Monday, but otherwise no precipitation to speak of. Passing clouds off and on, otherwise mostly clear. But below average temperatures are going to steal the show for tomorrow and into Monday. And still borderline below average as we get closer to normal for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then it's the second half of the week that we start to see those temperatures really begin to rebound across the region. Tonight, though, with clear skies, calm conditions, those temperatures will begin to fall as we head into the low temperatures through the low to middle 30s. And as we get into the early part of next week, again, those temperatures will stay below average, a little bit on the breezy side as we head into the day on Sunday and into Monday as well. Your 70 forecast will show those temperatures again stabilizing back to near average as we head into the middle of the week Tuesday to Wednesday and it's the second half of the week that we're really going to start to feel those very comfortable temperatures compared to yesterday. It's going to feel a lot like spring with highs near maybe just above 60 degrees. A possibility of a couple showers Friday and into Saturday, Joe, and really all things considered very calm. Not a whole lot to talk about, but I don't think you'll hear many complaints about that. Keep it above 32, and I'm a happy guy. Same here. Same all right. here. <laughs> Thanks, Cody.